Hey, this is Mika from Kitarisi Tampere and I want to show you now in this video how to get some clarity about how chords are constructed and how they are in verse. I want to show you what chord inversions are. Here we go. So first of all, all major chords are constructed in the same way, all minor chords are constructed in the same way. There's a basic formula that for minor chords goes like this. You have a root note, let's take the A. And then the next note is the third in the scale degree. So if you have any, let's take the A minor scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you have the next note is, if you paid attention, of course, it's the C. Here's the C. And the next scale degree of a minor chord is the fifth. That's in the progression of A, B, C, D, E. It's the E. So you have a minor chord consisting of A, C, and E. And the only difference to major chords is that you have a major third instead of a minor third. So instead of going three frets, higher to the C, you would build a C, an A major chord by having a major third there and go on four frets higher to the C sharp. That's an E major chord and basically, or the, the most basic form of an E major chord because it's A, C sharp and E. So, now that you know that, let us have a look at our open chords for A minor. You, know, you are familiar with that maybe already. Um, and let's pick it apart. What notes do we have here? It's an A, an E, an A again, a C, and an E. So as you can see, I only played those three different notes, A, C, and E, but in different registers. Same for the C major chord, C, E, G, C again, and E. And you get a C major chord. So the next thing to realize or to know is that no matter in what order you put those notes, C, E, G, G, C, E, E, G, C, or whatever, it will always be a C major chord. So, for example, uh, you can have a C, E, G, that's a C major chord, or the first inversion is E, G, C, so it starts on the second note of the chord. That's also a C major chord. Or you start the second inversion on the G, so on the second, um, no, actually on the third note of the chord. That was G, C, E, the second inversion of the chord. Same goes for, or same works for A minor, and for any minor chord. Let's start here with the first inversion, that's a... A, C, E. Or you can play the first inversion when you start on a C, and I start on a C on the fifth string, third fret. That's an A minor chord because it consists of the notes C, A, and E. C, or C, E, A in this case. C, And you have the second inversion that starts on the last note, on the third note of the A minor chord, on an E, that is E, A, and C. So, if you want to play that on one string again, it goes like A, C, and E, or you start that on a C, I shift to the next string so it's a little bit easier, 
uh, to C. Um, C, E, and A. That was kind of an arpeggiated A minor chord. Or starting on the last note, on the E of the A minor note, or A minor chord, it's E, E, A, and C. These were all A minor chord um, arpeggios, more or less. So, an A minor chord taken apart, I just played the notes in an order. And what you got there were inversions of an A minor chord. The same goes for a C major chord that goes like C, E, G, C, E, and G, or E, G, C, or G, C, E. And this can be applied to all of any major minor chords. Anyway, the way that you can use it is you can construct your own diatonic triads with this, in this way, which I will show you in one of the next videos. If you want to have a chord chart for a few standard chords, you can click the link below this video that will take you to a site where you can get a access to the free download for some material that might help you get a little bit more of insights to the guitar. And if you need more guidance, feel free to contact me on www.guitaristitante.p and get in touch with me there. Simple as that. Looking forward to hearing from you and I uh, hope you take advantage of this free offer. See you soon.